today's video, let's play What Did I Stuff in This Tub? I have, yes, uh, I've had my camera with me all day, been uh, recording uh, kind of clips here and there as I went, as I uh, have been sorting and cleaning and throwing away out of my studio. Um, kind of had my own little funny like hoarder unboxing. Um, and I'm gonna share that with you today. Grab some popcorn, cause it's ridiculous. I am in the process of going through tubs and you can see what I keep. This is just masses and masses of old pasta jewelry that people give to me to repurpose into other jewelry. Uh, and I think I'm just going to let some of this go today. Yeah, i got to keep that because I use the... I might find some other things, but I'll, uh, I'll let you know what I find. Okay, so out of, well, this is, I threw one away. So one, two, three, and I threw one box away. Um, I've condensed to four boxes and what I'm keeping into these two. And then I'm throwing all of this away. That's huge strides for me. Um, there's things in there that, Honestly, I, I, I caught myself going through and picking out beads that I needed to save because I could use them later and I stopped. Um, but now we need to go through and look at some of the cool things I kept. And, uh, oh. Okay, we've seen, uh, we've seen a bunch of the, uh, tubs that I went to, but really not the content. And here's another one that I need to go through. I figured for today, Throwback Thursday, um, just keep you in here with me while I find stuff and show it to you as I go through it. Suffer with me. This. I found this. This is one of the first necklaces I ever made. Like, 2007, probably. And it's amber and jet. And I completely obsessed over both of these stones. Like, I would only wear jet for the longest time. Like, it was my thing. Um, it's a protection stone. It's black, right? Protection stone. Um, and it's... Uh, has a lot to do with like grief healing and stuff so I don't know what uh, what it was about it oh here comes cooks she's gonna see what we're digging in but yeah so this is 10 years old probably I'm gonna rework it we'll do a video with that we're gonna repurpose it um okay let's see what we got let me check my time Where's my own hi cooks Look. That is, that's me and my brother, probably 1968, and he is 10 years older than me, and so he was probably, I don't know, 15, 16 something, and I don't know where this was, honestly, uh, maybe the fair, who knows, he is and has always been one of my favorite people on the planet. We always laugh, Wonder Twin Powers activate. Like, we always laugh, he completes me. Like, my relationship with my brother is essential to my spiritual well-being, period. 
Oh, let's see. No. Uh, I, these are from, um, this is a chrysophase. They are drilled so small, I need to get like a 26 gauge um, wire. And since there's like semi precious, I'm going to do it in sterling or solid silver. I haven't decided which one. So and I've had these since probably 2009, 10. Uh, and these are tri color. Oh my God. I thought about taking these to a pawn shop, really, or to a jeweler and see if they just wanted to buy them because the holes are so small on these. But I think I'm just going to invest in that 26, uh, that 26 gauge sterling for these. These are faceted um, briolettes, and they're all sapphires. Ugh, I need to make earrings out of those. <clears throat> I have some really, really nice stuff. Not everything is <clears throat> fun, chunky, hippie stuff. Uh, there's some more I got. It was from an estate sale. Um, this is... Appetite, I believe. Or... Amazonite, uh, gym quality. I think it might be appetite. <coughs> I'll have to ask somebody. This is a big drilled pendant here. Um, and I think that it's Kunzite. It's not amethyst. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's Kunzite, but I need to ask somebody too on that. Uh, well, look, earrings and keychains. I have that. Oh, wow. Okay, so Chrysler Barrel here. Really tiny. Oh, open. Look how tiny. And this is another one, too. It's just, it's so tiny. It would be great with beading wire, but I don't want to make a bracelet or a. <clears throat> I might make a bracelet. I don't, and I keep saving them because I don't know if I'm going to make it for myself or if I'm going to uh, make it to sell. But these are just beautiful. These are chrysophase. These are drilled nicely. Could do just about anything with that, wire-wise. And then blue opal. These are lovely. Uh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Make sure it focuses on these. Blue opals. Oh my god. And what keeps me away from these is, and it's this type of opal as opposed to um, it, all the other types of opals. Cooks, I'm not in the mood today, baby girl. I've got no sleep. Uh, I just dropped one. Um, opals have to be moisturized. Um, because they're very brittle, and I don't know if this this blue opal falls into that same category. Uh, this is something I've been working on, and I put it off to the side because I need a class for it. It's kind of pretty, but I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh, cookie. Look, this was a bracelet that I had started, never finished. Uh, this here is uh, the big Laramar and Cookie's tail. Um, as a purple sapphire, I'm um, gonna wrap it, and make a pit. Like, like I just kept all this because I was like, well, I'm gonna make something special and sell it for, you know, a whole bunch of money. Or I, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it for myself. Just so pretty. But I got, I got it all just so ridiculously cheap because it was came from like an estate sale and she had passed in. Uh, that's a, that's a agate. And when she passed, they just sold all her, her stuff in lots. And I got it. And I kept on t the whole time. There's another purple sapphire. And there's a cat's eye here. This was my first pendulum. So I tied 
this amethyst point onto a piece of dental floss. And it works perfectly as far as a pendulum, you know. So, show me yes. There we go. Show me no. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Are we communicating today? Yes, we are. Thank you very much. And I still use this a lot. I wondered where it went to. A friend of mine, <clears throat> we go ghost hunting. I have uh, dousing rods and a meter. And um, the dousing rods work great as far as pointing us towards uh, where uh, activity could be. Um, and I had misplaced this. And now I found it again. And so I'll start using it again too. And then just random. What else is in here? These are old, old pieces of jewelry that I threw in here because I was going to rework them into, into new. Just tear them apart with the beads. So this is a big piece of heat treated uh, amethyst, which gives it, uh, which is sold as centering, and which is I use uh, in my my work as citrine. Um, is heat treated amethyst and I have a real um, I haven't talked about citrine yet because I don't know how mm, one day I'm keeping that one for myself see I just oh such a word but all this real fun this is some old stuff uh, there's some more opal here that I got in that lot sale but these are my old pieces that I'm going to work on and rework into another piece um, this piece was in Bead Trends Magazine. I've been in like 24 issues of Bead Trends Magazine. Um, this was from probably, oh yeah, it's really, it's lovely. Uh, heat, heat treated, uh, agate, so not carnelian, uh, and then lamp work, or just glass. But this was in probably the 2009 one of the probably from 2009-2010 that was a fun time that was a real fun time in my life submitting work and, and mailing it in to B Trends magazine they would professionally um, photograph it and then they would put it in their magazines and I would also send in the instructions on how to make it um, if anybody wanted to make it it was really fun really fun 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 time I had a lot of pieces well 25 <laughs> Here's another one that was in one of the early, like 2008 probably. Um, I got these little candies, glass candies at an antique store. They're not antique, they're replicas. But I got them and, uh, and I thought that would be fun to incorporate somehow into, into jewelry. And so I just did a quick wire wrap on either side and then put on a chain and little, little hanging down doobries. Just made a real... Real simple, cute little design. I named it Patsy's Candy. My mom's name is Patsy. She's always got hard candy in her purse. Hard candy, peppermints, cough drops. Um, and so this is what I named for my mom. And uh, this was also in bead trends. So I, I, some of the stuff is just so old. I mean, just so old. It's two, probably 2007. Uh, some of my uh, copper bangles that the designs are just not consumer friendly. I mean, I like them, but, and I make them big because of my water bucket hands. Um, so I can actually put these bangles on. Well, yeah, see. So I can actually put the bangle on my hand um, and stack up bangles because it's one thing that, you know, I love our bangles and finding them to fit to get over my big mitts is always hard, so I make it for myself. Um, the forms that I use, it's this is big, like 1614 gauge copper, and um, yeah, wrap it around a soup can. You don't have to buy fancy tools. Use what you got. Be creative. So there, that's my form for all of my bangles, for my copper wire wrapped, and even for um, my fabric wrap, my boho fabric wrap ones um, start with a real heavy gauge copper like these 
um, and then wrap it around and then hammer it so it has really good tensile strength and then wrap it, wrap it, wrap it and it just makes it even stronger. But yeah, no special tools, just a soup can. I love to see people's creativity and how they make things work out of, out of other things. Look, um, we're just going to throw this away right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, I got a whole bunch of these for next to nothing because I needed these, but they came with these. Uh, um, let's see. Just some old, my old lady clunky jewelry. It's just laying in here. And I always said if I had a job where I got to wear real clothes, I would bust all this back out again and I would just keep it and wear it. But I, you know, I wore scrubs for almost five years. And now I wear sweatpants and sweatshirts. And that's it. So I just don't keep all that jewelry around. Somebody else is going to take it. Somebody else will go buy it. Like, there's like, I don't know, five pounds of rose quartz. That goes in my collection upstairs. Ah, there's uh, probably five pounds of bloodstone. Love bloodstone. I get the little ones in match them up pretty close and wire wrap them in, a, in that hippie wire wrap uh, and make earrings out of them. They're really cute. But this is, this is just a bunch of memories in here. Like this, like I can't just like throw it away or give it away because this is sterling. So it's got a lot of value to it. It needs to be incorporated into something else. So just bust them apart. Retire them. Give them new life. You know, that's the style of wrapping that I'm going to show you guys. The spiral style. Real easy. Real easy. So, yeah, everything in here is probably a good 10 years old. Easy. Yeah. Ah, oh, I forgot about that one. Ooh, I might keep this one. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, there's a project bucket here, y'all. Oh, I love this one so much. I love a chunky style, period. Something that'll make you have to, so heavy, you gotta go to chiropractor after you wear it. Um, Jasper, just with a, that funky hippie wrap. You know what I mean? Just, just sloppy right there. Just to hold it in place. I made a bail on the top and then garnet and the raspberry it's called raspberry quartz but it's really glass and then this is jet yes jet had to be in all of my designs and it's channel jasper yeah that's a great this is a lot of protection man. a lot of great protection and then i do this front clasp design um so it makes them easier to put on that was also inspired by my mom because she can't put her clasps, clasps on behind her head. So I put the clasps in the front for her. So, but yeah, that's, this is my repurpose bucket. So, my repurpose bucket and my, my famous pieces. <laughs> so this big point here. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it. This was sold to me as a Lemurian crystal. Um, and I'm not, I just don't know enough about them to know. But if you can see in the light, the ridges. Oh, if I can get it. These ridges are one of the indicators of your Lemurian crystals. Um, which is really cool because they grow in the ground just like, like that. <laughs> they just grow in the, you know, I mean, they just this. Um, that was in that box. I'm pulling this. This one is getting pulled. Going back into my. It won't go into my. Uh, I don't want it to get beat up by keeping it in my. Uh, my basket upstairs, or putting it in my travel pouch. I just don't want it to get beat up. Uh, but I am going to put it in with my sage, and also in with my. Um, my candles. So I want to burn my candles. 
but if you can see those ridges just this, this is a bunch of a bunch of big daddy stuff that came off the bookcase. This is going to go in his office. Bonnaroo! I'm working on a collage in a big um, shadow box for all my Bonnaroo stuff. This year's year five! Yay! That goes upstairs. He loves bears. And then here's, oh, yeah, and just, that's a, that's a big hunk of amber. Really big hunk of amber. There's a bunch of rough cut in here. That's my little Rue guy. This is from 2016, I think. Whenever, whatever. I uh, have a love affair with penguins. This is made from stone. People love to give me penguins. These are one of those big points that I was telling you about as far as citrine. Um, that's a big chunk. It's a big, big point. So this, this had to just, you know, be massive, massive, like feet across for to have a point like this um and it, when you uh, when you break them apart uh, the way the geodes are you can the way they're formed you can tap them on the back and these teeth will just fall out um heat treat it and then sell it as citrine um it's lovely it's a lovely point yeah. send that out box i don't know what's on it don't care um I don't even know. I don't even know. But ooh, I'll keep that. I don't go in my my space. But I'm gonna. This is the um, formation that the penguin was sitting on because it looks like snow. So I don't. Maybe it's snowy quartz. That's just a guess, honestly. Um, oh, there's a Cal Cal Sydney bear. So he likes bears. So I got him a Cal Sydney bear, Brotherhood bear. Love it. Uh, and then I've got part of a geode. Nice big, dirty, dirty piece of citri or um, <clears throat> Nice big, dirty piece of amethyst. A uh, big piece of sodalite. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, here's, ow! There's a, uh, oh, this has got great inclusions. This is a piece of quartz with, hang on, look under the light. It's just beat up from being in this bucket. But this is a really beautiful quartz point. And I wish, let's, let's see. Yeah. Oh, la, la, la. Look, and see the inclusions in there? And I don't know what it is. I can only speculate. Um, moss quartz, I don't know. It's a beautiful. Beautiful point with inclusions. Let's see, what else? Oh, my big tiger's eye. And here's a quartz bear. Also, it needs to go in Big Daddy's collection. I'm just finding buckets of stuff that just got tabled for so long. Look, there's another big heated amethyst point. There's his, um, Mahogany. <gasps> Mahogany onyx. Or braciated jasper. I have a hard time telling them apart. Wolf. Oh, yay! A hair debris. Okay, cool. I like that too. Not beautiful! Um. Oh, um. Celestite. Black Tibetan Quartz. It's a good meditating stone, this one. Really great for meditating, connecting. Uh, more of a geode here, Quartz Geode. Uh, so I'm taking all my stuff. Great fossil. So I'm taking all of my stuff and leaving all of Big Danny's and he can do with as he pleases because it's not staying in here
there you have it. It was a big part of my day. Made a lot of progress today. And we'll make a lot of more progress tomorrow. Um, thanks for hanging out and letting me share this with you. And remember, be peaceful, be kind. It's important. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm going through this. I think I'm going to get rid of this. There's our curtain thing. Look, mist, cold fear. Two, mist and cold fear. Two of my favorite games ever. Back in the day when I used to work at Ubisoft. Back in the day when I was a gamer. Uh, Amber Caffrey. Oh, yeah, keeping that. Oh. What else? Oh, the frame stuff. Just more. Oh, look, more games. Let's see what it is. Oh, this is uh, this is the funny thing here. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil Collector's Edition uh, for PC. None of the operating system requirements are like they won't run on any systems. They're just too too much. Tenth missed anniversary. Oh gosh, I love that game. I love that game. But am I gonna keep it? No. Maybe. No. Maybe.